Welcome to the CISEP video on improvement cycles. This video will navigate the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle, also known as a PDSA cycle. While many other models for continuous improvement exist, the PDSA cycle uses a framework to identify changes that are needed in implementation efforts. PDSA cycles include four steps, plan, do, study, and act. First is plan. During planning, the team identifies changes that are needed using multiple data points, determines outcomes and how success will be measured, and creates action plans. Next is do. The team carries out the plan to address the changes. Then it's study. The team studies what happened by using the measures identified during the planning phase to assess and track progress. Finally, it's act. The team makes changes to the next iteration of the plan to improve implementation. Let's follow this process with an example. Wellington Elementary holds two parent nights per year, one in the fall and again in winter after the new year. Over the last three years, parent attendance has steadily decreased. The school improvement team was meeting to plan the winter parent night, and Miss Perry, the principal, showed a graph from the last three years with a dramatic decrease from 75% the first year to 22% of parents attending the previous session. The team decided to address attendance before planning the winter session. They set a goal to reach 65% attendance for the winter parent night and brainstormed ideas. One of the teachers pointed out that although their school was highly diverse, their school team did not reflect that same diversity. The team realized they needed to hear from the parents, so they sent a survey. After receiving feedback, common responses were that most parents needed childcare, and Friday evenings were not a good night. Many parents also noted they were unsure of the reasons to attend parent night, and some parents requested the need for Spanish translators. With this information, the team decided to increase parent representation on their team to include three parents. With these critical perspectives now on the team, they made a plan to address each barrier identified from the parent survey. Over the next month, the team put the plan in motion. They moved parent night from Friday to Tuesday. A few team members worked out childcare and Spanish translators. The three parents led work around messaging and designed a flyer to be sent home with each student. One of the parents translated the flyer into Spanish. They each promoted the upcoming parent night at local community events. The full team shared school posts about parent night on their personal social media accounts. Finally, parent night arrived. The team members noticed there were more parents, but they wouldn't know the total until their follow-up meeting. They also had parents complete a short survey before they left. At the follow-up meeting, Ms. Perry announced that 67% of parents attended parent night. The team was ecstatic that so many more parents attended. They reviewed the parent feedback survey and found that parents appreciated the new changes. A few suggestions included refreshments, time for questions, and recording the main opening session. They also had six parents volunteer to help the following year. With new information gained from the winter session, the team decided to make more changes to the planning team. They included a few new parent volunteers and shifted the planning team to a parent-led team with staff representation. With their new team and processes in place, they would be ready for the planning cycle to begin again. As PDSA is a continuous improvement process, the team followed the same PDSA process the following year, and in the fall, attendance increased to 77% and 91% in the winter. Employing this process helped Wellington Elementary School not only increase parent attendance during parent night, but over time, the focus of parent night shifted from the school simply sharing information to actively engaging parents. Continuous improvement can be applied to any area of education. When professionals commit to examining practices, and their impact on outcomes, and then changing practices to improve outcomes, teachers, students, and families benefit. Using improvement cycles, we can get started and get better.